One thing that can happen to your hives is they can swarm. Hive 4 here swarmed on us the other week. Um, we know this because we did a hive inspection uh, and there were very few bees in it, there were very few stores in it after being a relatively strong hive earlier in the year. So we're just going to do a quick inspection, we're going to see what stores they have, what brood they've got and see if we can find a queen that potentially is unmarked. We're just going to go through this hive um, and see if it's got any stores in the top box here. Let's get this one out of the way. Well, I started to store honey in it again. We did feed these guys with about 10 litres of sugar syrup um, just after we noticed they had swarmed, which is what I suspect they have filled this top box up with. Couple more frames of honey in there. Now hives may swarm for a number of reasons. Um, they may have run out of room. They may have an inferior queen that's close to dying and they want to make the hive stronger. Or they may just run, have run out of food and want to go and find some more food. We don't know why this hive swarmed. Um, I'm suspecting it's possibly was an old queen because we bought this as a complete hive without a fresh queen. Um, but I can see some brood in here, which tells us there is a queen in here and we might be able to find her for you. As you can see in the middle there, there's lots of larvae in this hive, which means our queen is laying, which means we do have a queen, which is the good news. Now it's just a matter of finding her. I'm not sure whether she's marked or not. So we'll put my queen finding skills to the test. There's some more brood on this frame. Some good pollen stores, good honey stores. No queen yet. This hive has a little bit of varroa in it. You might be able to see in the middle there. Just in the middle, walking up towards the honey, there's a bee that sort of looks like it doesn't really have wings. That's one of the things that varroa does to bees, mm. is it destroys their wings. And that's an important reason as to why we treat for varroa. Queen's got a good uh, brood pattern happening on this side of the hive. Um, so we definitely know she's in there. We'll have a look in this bottom box. It's definitely got a lot more honey in it than it used to. Alrighty. So when we brought this hive, um, we were surprised to see that it was what we call a foundationless hive. So it didn't have any man-made foundation put in it for the bees. Um, here at Arps' Apiaries we've got 
a variety of different foundations. We used plastic frames, which have plastic foundation with wax rolled onto them. We also use wooden frames that have wax foundation embedded in the wires in them. And now we use unwaxed frames. And pulling out this outside. This hasn't been touched for ages. Got nothing on it. So again, I'm just going through the hive until I can see some brood. Because what we're worried about today is doing a varroa treatment. See there that there's plenty of pollen stores in there for them to have over winter and they'll be filling the rest of that up with honey. So we've got some honey out the side here, um, some empty space for them to put brood over winter, and some more honey on the other side. I would suggest that all of our brood is in this top box, so we're going to put our varroa treatment up the top here, so it gets to the place that it needs to go. Now I'm going to put this frame back in the middle, um, because it doesn't necessarily matter in my opinion, when you've got virtually nothing going on in a hive where you put the frame. If you've got brood like our other box, you definitely want to make sure it goes back in the same order. So we had some brood on these middle four frames. So again, we're going to treat that with a full varroa treatment. Get it out of its packet here. Now with a bit of luck, we haven't got uh, too bad of a varroa in here. And this treatment that we're putting in will get on top of it quickly for us. Two to go. Let's calm the girls down a little bit, they don't like invading the space too much. And the last treatment goes in here. Put our feeder back on top, which should calm them down a wee bit. Out of the way, ladies. Where are the bees off this? Here. I'll smoke a few of these girls out of there. And we'll put our lid back on. Well, I hope you enjoyed our time out on the apiary today, checking our swarmed hive. It looks like it's recovering relatively well, and with that varroa treatment, it should survive winter.
have a good day everyone and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video if you do like it and share it around your friends and family go on archie show them where that subscribe button is